If you're a teacher and you want to get out of the classroom, one of the things that can keep you stuck in the classroom is not knowing your transferable skills. What's an alternative career that you can have outside of the classroom with the skills that you've already developed as a teacher? What jobs pay the same or even more than what you earn now without you actually having to commit to years and years of extra study? If this is you, please watch this video. Hi, my name is Carolyn Brown and I'm a career coach and I've helped many teachers change their career and get fantastic new jobs both inside and outside of the classroom. I'm making this video to show you that it really is possible to take what you've done in the classroom and apply it in the corporate world, in the not-for-profit sector, or in the public sector. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have some better ideas about what your transferable skills are and the confidence that you can apply these outside of the school environment. Because I'm gonna show you some people who've done exactly that. They've worked out their transferable skills and they've changed their careers. But make sure you watch to the end of this video because I've got something to share with you that will help you identify your transferable skills and fast track your career change. So let's get into it, shall we? So I went looking on LinkedIn to see if I could find teachers who changed their careers into doing something interesting. I looked at the transferable skills that they would have taken into their next career. I also looked at whether they would have done any study to help them make that move. Now these are real life examples as we speak. I'm sure as a teacher you'll appreciate that I'm not gonna talk fluffy theory. So let's meet the five people I found. Meet TS who's gone from teaching in the UK and Malaysia to training and development in Australia. Let's take a look at her transferable skills. Her first role outside of the classroom was as education consultant for Electroboard. And while she doesn't actually state what she did in teaching, my assessment is that she directly used her curriculum design skills that she gained as a teacher to develop and deliver a range of targeted training modules and designing customised learning events and strategies. After this two year stint, she went on to more implementation roles including training teachers on new classroom technology for the New South Wales Department of Education and Community. Now, the thing to note about TS is that she's done her qualifications after she made the move. She's done her Prince 2 in project management and her Cert 4 in training and assessment when she's been well into her second job outside of teaching. Now, the next person I want you to meet is JA, who's gone from teaching to become a project and change manager. So you can see on her LinkedIn profile that a primary focus of her role as assistant principal was, and here's what she says, my role was focused primarily on leadership and management of information systems in support of the curriculum management of the school. Then she's become a project manager for the Catholic education body implementing new technologies in school. So let's take a look at what formal qualifications she has. She moved out of the school environment in May 2006 and in 2007 she's done a graduate diploma in organisation communication. That is, she started that after she started her new job. Now here's a dirty little secret about project management if you think this might be a career for you. You can think of anything that you've organised at school that has a start point and an end point as a project and describe this as a project on your CV. So I'm talking about things like if you've organised a school excursion, if you've organised a community day, if you've organised a new curriculum, if you've supported technology rollouts or you've helped train other teachers in a particular skill. Employers will look upon this seriously as a project and that you've demonstrated project management skills if you write it up like this. Describe the purpose of the project, describe the actions that you took to organise the project, describe the tools that you used and describe the impact of the project. And then suddenly you've got a project management example that can go on your CV. Let's now meet NO who's gone from teaching to become a software engineer. He's made a really interesting career move. So Eno describes himself as a former teacher turned software engineer. And looking at his LinkedIn profile, he doesn't have a degree in software engineering. He's done a short course boot camp in coding with Hack Reactor, and he does have an analytical base. He studied a Bachelor of Science in Economics, and he's taught economics at high school. He's made the change into full-time coding as a software engineer by highlighting his coding side hustles on his LinkedIn profile. 
But if you look at this, he hasn't spent years and years on these side hustles. He spent only five months on these projects. And I love what he said here. I don't take pride in my expertise in any particular subject matter, but in my capacity to learn quickly and adapt, something that has proven far more valuable to me in the ever-changing world of tech. I love solving problems that require a systematic and logical approach and relish opportunities to create eloquent solutions to daily problems. In coding or software engineering, if you can show your interest and skills in this, that holds far more weight to employers than any formal qualifications. Now, I love this next example. Meet SDW, who's currently a teacher and a flight attendant. It doesn't specifically state on her LinkedIn file the transferable skills she's taken between her two jobs. But if I was to take an educated guess, I'd say from teaching to flight attending, she'd have demonstrated highly developed communication skills, an ability to remain calm under pressure, and heard crazy cats in a closed environment. And just one last thing here, I can't see any qualifications she would have done to become a flight attendant on her LinkedIn profile. So let's meet ME, who's gone from being a teacher and having a long career as a teacher to becoming a real estate agent. He said he's taken his relationship building skills with small humans and applied them to bigger ones in his new career in real estate. I'm sure also that his big classroom presence and communication skills has helped him with sales presentations and He's learned to become a great negotiator, navigating between parents, teachers, and students. Qualification-wise, he hasn't listed these on his LinkedIn profile. However, to actually become a real estate agent in New Zealand, where he's from, you do need to complete a certificate. It takes 17 weeks or all of four months to do. So I hope you can see that there are plenty of ways that you can use the skills that you've developed in teaching in a real range of careers outside the classroom. Now you're probably watching this and thinking, that's great, Carolyn. How do I apply this to me? How do I work out what my transferable skills are and the type of career that I could enjoy outside teaching? And even if I do know this, how can I convince an employer that I really want to change my career and I have those transferable skills? If this is you, I've got something for you. I'm going to be offering a weekend career change accelerator specifically for teachers. In just one weekend, you'll go from being confused to confidently taking the steps that you need to take to change your career. And actually, finally, making that career change happen. So if you'd like more information about this, I've put a link in the description below. So please do go and check it out. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.